Hi YouTube, some of you might have remembered my collection of Tomy robots because I've showed them in a previous video. Um, they're all really friendly looking, so you've got Spotbot, um, you've got Mr Money, Mr DJ, and then we've got Dustbot, this little guy's Flipbot, you've got Dingbot, and then you've got Crackbot, and then this guy with his control box is called Verbot, um, this one is Chatbot, then you've got Omni Junior, and then we've got Omnibot, which is quite a big one. And then we've got the biggest one in my collection, Omnibot 2000, which is really quite hard to get hold of, um, especially in working condition. Uh, what I really love about all these robots is they're really friendly looking, um, and they just have really nice little personalities. This guy here is called Radbot. Um, he's actually uh, a little bit later. We've got Armatron, which is just basically a robot arm. And then these little guys are just wind up robots, little pocket bots. Um, I've made a robot here, um, which was supposed to look a little bit like um, Johnny Five from the movie Short Circuit. Um, and then we've got this guy here is another Tomy robot called Mr. Time. So I keep all of these robots in a cupboard in the dark just to stop any of them yellowing any further in the light. In this video, I got the urge to make a friendly kind of 80s style robot. And I've been collecting up bits and bobs for ages just in boxes like this. Just full of just things that I've taken apart basically. So in here there are bits of sewing machine. There are bits of like um, machinery and wires and all kinds of stuff. And I just pile it all together in these boxes. Um, and then at times like this where I get the urge to make something... I can just go through and just pick out random parts that I think will work. If I'm ever at a car boot sale or a charity shop, I just look out for things like old radios, old DVD players, anything. And even if um, they're not working, if they're really, really cheap, it doesn't matter. I'll pick them up anyway, just so that I can take them all apart and just take all the bits from them. So you can see here's a random selection of just bits and bobs, little motors, bits of tubing, all kinds of stuff here. Any of these little bits could be added to a robot to add extra features to it. I also have racks of tubs and things in my shed, um, which I just fill with various small parts, so things like washers and screws and clips and um, little plates and all kinds of stuff. Just little tubs like this. Um, so again, I can just go to them if I need like a spring or um, anything really and they're all just there ready for me whenever I need them. On this particular occasion, because I keep a lot of reptiles and things, um, they quite often have heat lamps and they have these kind of metal domes that go over the top of the heat lamps to help reflect the light into the cages. Um, so I had a few of these leftover domes of metal and I thought that would make a really good kind of body for a robot. So that was my kind of starting point and I just started by um, drilling a few holes in these metal domes just so that I was able to join those together with a few nuts and bolts. So this is how the robot was looking after the first day of me working on him. You can see I've used this outdoor lamp as his head. It's quite a nice shape actually because it kind of angles backwards. Um, that worked quite well. I've got these little round bits on the side here which are going to have glass domes for his eyes. These are the glass domes here. Um, and obviously you have to be careful with them because they're glass but I can stick them on here and then get some um, pupils to go inside. And that should look quite effective. Um, I've put a heat sink on the top of his head um, which I think is a good place to put a heat sink, you know, like uh, to cool down the head of the robot. And all these various bits and pieces that I've literally just glued on to these um, metal domes. You can see where the metal domes are. Um, you can't really see the screws where I've screwed them together. But it's basically just little holes in the front here. Um, and I've put a screw there. Another one there. So there's about three screws on each section to hold that all together. And then, yeah, like I said, the rest of it, all these little bits are just literally glued on. Um, these are pneumatic um, pistons from, I think, a washing machine. Uh, and I just drilled a couple of big holes in the 
metal domes and screwed those on well again with a big nut and bolt and then we've got this arm which is an old um, one from like a sort of chemistry thing that uh, grips hold of like test tubes and that kind of thing so that's quite a nice little touch and you can open and close this here I didn't have two hands that were the same unfortunately but I was able to make this other one which is convincing as a sort of gripping hand as well I was quite pleased with that all the extra little details and things that you add on to this I think they all add to it and then you have got the option as well of painting the whole thing afterwards I decided in the end not to because I was quite pleased with the colours of all these kind of silvery bits all the metallic bits and all the wires as well um, but you could just literally spray the whole robot afterwards um, a whole colour and then you could come back and you could kind of dry brush certain areas or you could make them look rusty or anything really here again you can see this heat sink that I've put on the top of his head um, I've got a sort of a black plate that I'm going to put on top of that as well which is this thing here again just for a bit of extra texture I just add some glue onto that and just stick it on the top of here a little while ago I managed to get a radio control tank just a little kids one from a car boot sale and it only cost me five quid but it's quite a cool little tank so what I've done here is I've used it for the sort of caterpillar tracks and I've literally just stuck my robot on top of this and it's really good it's got a little antenna that sticks out the back and it just means that the whole robot can move about on these little caterpillar tracks so this is how he's turned out and I'm really pleased with him because he looks really friendly so what I've ended up doing is I'm um, using some of this neon green tubing in here to create like a smile and I think that works really well um, his eyes as well I just had these kind of um, plastic eggs and I managed to get these like neon green ones again for his eyes and just these black plastic um, domed bits that look like pupils added to the front so his eyes really kind of pop out and that makes such a difference I had a lot more of this neon green tubing left um, so I just used that just here and there on the body and that again makes a massive difference to the sort of bright colour of the robot overall and I could add more to this in the future like I might um, paint say for example the wheels of the um, tank underneath I might paint them neon green I do have some spray paint that is like this same neon green colour so I might do that and I might also do some stenciling with some kind of symbols and that kind of thing on the metal dome of the robot I think that might make a difference but for now I'm really pleased with how he's looking and um, yeah I'll just show you as well how he sort of works with the control box so they the batteries are running out a bit here and yeah, you'll have to bear with me but when I press the button here it makes this noise and he starts up and then uh, you can just get him to kind of go forwards and backwards um, it's much more effective actually when there's fresh batteries in him it kind of whizzes about all over the place luckily the robot wasn't too heavy for the little tank um, it actually worked really well anyway I hope this has inspired some of you to go out and make a robot of your own um, check out my other videos if you get a chance hit subscribe if you want to see anything that I make in the future thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video